Hey there, Leon Kauma here, the best mass tutor. So, before we begin, just subscribe to the channel for you to receive more videos like this, yeah? But what I want to do in this video, I want us to look at the 2020 question, yeah, for GCE. And we're looking at two topics. We'll look at finding derivatives, calculus, and we'll look at solving indices, yeah? These are kind of interrelated, but you get it. So, subscribe right now for you to enjoy more videos like this, yeah? All right, come with me. So we're looking at finding derivatives and solving indices. And the focus is the 2020 September question, paper one. So the question that we were given is that, given that y is equals to 2x to the power 3 minus 4 over x to the power 2, find dy dx. So solution, dy dx stands for both derivatives. So what you're going to write, let me write my original which is this. So the first thing that you need to do, you should know that this power multiplies a constant. So you're going to show them that you're finding out dy dx will be, you see this 3? So 3 times 2 is 6. Then you have x. Then once you multiply, you subtract using 1. Because that's the formula. So 3 minus 1. And then here, we have a variable as a denominator. That's not allowed. So we're going to take it up. So we're going to have minus 4. We take this x squared up, it will be x minus 2. So once a variable, a variable is a letter, once it goes up, this, uh, the power, the sign becomes negative. So here we continue. dy dx is equals to 6x. 3 minus 1 is 2. Here, remember, we took it up. And the steps are 1, you multiply, then you subtract. So negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8x, and then we have negative 2 minus 1. So please, you multiply, then you subtract. I've not, I'm not yet done. This, is, this was 2 max. So 8x to the power negative 3. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So therefore, dy dx will be 6x plus squared plus 8. This is a negative. To become positive, it goes as a denominator, x to the power 3. So you end here. So this is what the examiner expected in 2020. Very easy, right? I know, I know. Subscribe to the channel. Alright, let's go to question 2. Given that 8, this is indices now, given that 8 to the power x minus 1 is equals to 16. Find the value of x. So solution. This, these are easy things. So you have 8, x to the power x minus 1 is equals to 16. So this 8 and 16, they are known as the base. So what you are going to do, you are going to change these bases to become the same. So you are going to look for a number. The number will be 2. So it will be 2. The question is, how many times should you multiply 2 to give you 8? It's 3. You see that? So you multiply 2, 3 times, it will give you 8. 2 times 2 times 2. Then you, this, you see this x minus 1? You put it in brackets. x minus 1 is equals 2. Then this 16 becomes 2 because the bases have to become the same. So how many times should you multiply 2 to give you 16? It's 4 times. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. So here we will cancel the bases. So 3 times x is 3x. Three, 3 times negative 1, negative 3 is equals to 4. It's a simple, simple equation. We have 3x is equals to 4. This is negative 3 because the sign plus 3. So 3x is equals to 7. Over 3, over 3. Cancel the 3. You just want x. So therefore, x is equals to 7 over 3. Head up. 2020, yeah? 2020. Alright. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Um, I'm planning to upload more videos like this. We'll be looking at the 2020 questions. One or two questions in each video. If you want to be the first to be notified when I've uplo uploaded the video, subscribe to the channel right now. There's a button that you see there. Subscribe right now so that you become the first to watch this video, yeah? This has been Mr. Leon Kaoma, the best master.